now forced out by fire. Dozens are now looking for somewhere to stay after their apartment building in Northeast Philadelphia was totally destroyed. CBS News Philadelphia reporter Ryan Hughes has more on the resources now being made available to them. Towering flames tore through the roof and burning pieces of wood and debris fell to the ground as an apartment building in the city's Ronhurst neighborhood turned into an inferno. So all everything is gone. No, nothing now. Zahid Abdul Qom has lived in this building on the 7400 block of Roosevelt Boulevard for two years. His family escaped the flames, but now he's unsure where they will live next. It's so hard for me. I have three kids, but it's so hard. The fire started around 930 Thursday night. The building was evacuated as the fierce flames ripped through the fourth floor and caused the roof to come crashing down. The fire department says two people suffered minor injuries. I'm just happy, thankful to God that I have my life, but of course it's just the not knowing to me that's the most unsettling. Kenesha Moore is one of the 50 residents now displaced. Her building has smoke damage and she was allowed back inside for 10 minutes Friday to get some of her belongings. Any medication that I needed, just maybe um, toiletries, a couple outfits. Um, just to like hold me over. The Red Cross says 42 people stayed at a shelter Thursday night that's been set up inside Samuel Fells High School. Many families are receiving food, clothing and other resources and officials say the shelter will remain open for as long as it's needed. The state fire marshal's office tells me part of this building now has to be demolished because right now it's not safe for investigators to get inside to determine exactly what caused the fire. We are told that process will take several days. In Ronhurst, Ryan Hughes, CBS News, Philadelphia.